I'm, think, I'm glad they let them stay, you know, for the whole thing. That's great. As we look outside at our weather today, beautiful weather, 70 this morning and went into the 80s and then we found our way into the 90s. Not every Labor Day gets there. We were above normal today. It was a hot one out there and tonight it's a very warm evening. We're still sitting on 79 degrees right now. 91 our high, 68 was our low this morning. With our 9 degree day today, we have seen our totals continue to climb for the year. We now stand at 26 days. We're running still behind the pace for an average year. One reason mainly is because we didn't have any in May or June and we'd normally have eight in those months and in April some years, about one third of the years we have one then too. So had a slow start, but ever since then we've been holding pace with normal and uh, maybe, maybe we'll be done after this week, but we've got a few to go. Temperatures outside right now, 77 in High Point, 79 in Greensboro and Winston-Salem. Everybody east of the mountains in the 70s, once we're in the mountains, we got 60s in a few spots. Satellite radar shows some false returns, but nothing going on. No rain out there tonight. Skies across the state are in real good shape thanks to high pressure in control. And as we look at our weather map, we got a pair of cold fronts coming down. They will get closer to us, and as they do late in the week, our chance for a shower storm will start to come up some. 20% chance on Thursday, and then we're up to a 40% chance on Saturday and again on Sunday. Then behind it, there is some cooler air and we will feel the results of that as well. Tropics, we'll talk a little bit about that because this is the time of the year when it's usually the most active. Right now we've got several tropical waves out there. We've got one that is not a problem in the Northeast Atlantic. Then one right below has got a 60% chance of development over the next seven days. That one should turn. And then the one down below has a 100% chance, according to the National Hurricane Center. I don't like to use 100% for anything in weather until it starts because I've seen too many things fall apart. But we we'll go with their numbers. That is their numbers. And what I've seen on long range models is a trend that this will come out like it's going to be a threat and then it makes a turn between Bermuda and the East Coast. We'll look at that in a second and let's hope that still will play out. But that's what I see on all the long range models. Now, here's where we are in the season. You know, the season starts June 1. We get a little bit of a bump early, then it goes back flat, then it rapidly goes up through August into this part of the month. We're right here getting close to the very tip top. The peak is September 10th, and then it drops real fast. And once we get out of it, we're always really happy to get out of it because hurricane season kind of makes everybody hold their breath. Now you take a look at the track and you can see where things are going. And you can see the majority of the models that do go out this far turn it. There's Bermuda, there's Hatteras. So let's hope that happens. But there is one that goes on out to the west. So still got to keep watching and be informed, but we're talking about the latter part of next week, not this week, but next week before it would even become close enough to even be thought about. 90 and 92 at the beach the next two days. Mountains looking at 85 and 83 and sunny to partly cloudy skies. In the Piedmont tonight, 69 degrees. Tomorrow, look for a high temperature at 93. A hot one tomorrow, and it's going to continue to be that way. 94 on Wednesday, 92 degrees Thursday. The chance for a shower storm goes up Friday and Saturday. Then it comes back down, but look, the temperatures come back down too from these 90s back to the upper 70s to around 80. As we look at the 8 to 12 day outlook, you can see we're generally going from the low 80s back into the upper 70s. That takes you through September 16th, partly cloudy days, small 20 to 30 percent chance for a shower or storm. And if you're a fan of cooler weather, typically by the end of September, we'll be flirting with one or two nights in the upper 40s. So a little beyond this range, we might start seeing a little bit more significant cool downs. Three degree guarantee is for tonight's low of 70. My guarantee for Saturday was for a low of 58 and we were 59 Saturday morning.